guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you one of my new prints that I have currently been working on. I don't think a lot of people actually know that when it comes to printmaking and liner printmaking specifically, you it may only take an hour to actually carve out and then test print your idea, but the research behind it does actually take a lot of time and can sometimes be staring you in the face. Specifically with this one, I can I'll tell you a little mini story. Basically, it it was. Originally the idea was from a drawing and I was just looking through loads of drawings that I did from visiting a little forest over in Somerset and eventually I left the project alone for a bit because I just thought I was going round and round in circles, I wasn't getting anywhere and then when I came back to it a couple of weeks ago I realised that some of the drawings were actually really nice that I've done and I thought well why don't I just put them into liner prints to see how it goes so this is how we are at this moment, it's slightly inspired by Lee Crichton's gothic landscape. I just want to highlight that if any of you are wondering why it looks kind of like liney and that. But anyway, we're going to do a proper print or a test print depending on how well it comes out. So I'm just going to line up this with my ink and then we can get started. As always, I'm using my trusty block lino printing ink which I've had for probably about a year now it doesn't go down like I swear to god it's an endless bottle I've used it so much and it just keeps going <laughs> this is a water-based ink so it gets reactivated when it's pressed into if you wet the paper it's it works a lot more better because it can take on different layers and just make the whole thing look really cool effect especially doing collage prints but for line and print making it still works just as well okay so as always when it comes to printing the bits that are going to show up are literally the bits that have been highlighted in black and that's also how you kind of start doing a test for it I've already done a test that I know it's going to work so we're just going to get the wet paper and then print okay I zoomed you out a little bit just because of it looks better <laughs> you can still see the stick of the leg stick of the leg my camera stick leg <laughs> so this is quite a small comparison to the paper i'm using so i'm just gonna it's gonna look off on your side but it's actually gonna be in the center for me because it's quite small i'm easily easily able to use a water bottle which is what I'm going to do to help print it there we go See, that is a really nice crisp print. You can argue there's these little bits of white here, but actually it adds to the texture and makes it much more of an addition, as in every single one, every single print is hand printed, so it makes it actually a bit more special because you cannot rectify, you cannot repeat those same marks in every single print. It just makes it a little bit more special and actually gives a bit of texture and form and just adds to the composition really <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you're interested in any of my prints i will leave a link down below in my ebay selling account to all my artworks including these prints and don't forget to like subscribe to my channel and i'll just see you guys next time bye